Hello, patrons of the Oregsburg Library. Today is American Eagle Day. We don't have an eagle, we have an owl who's very patriotic, and this owl is just going to keep us company while I read you this cool short story. Okay. The Eagle. For six years after the United States became a nation, America's founding fathers argued about the national emblem. Benjamin Franklin campaigned for the wild turkey. After all, the turkey was a useful bird that was native to America. It was both noble and tasty. What more could you want in a national emblem? However, the turkey did not convey the feelings of awe that the founding fathers were seeking. The eagle was suggested, but eagles were already used as symbols of other countries. Did the United States want to adopt something that was so commonly used and that was often associated with monarchs. Besides, Benjamin Franklin pointed out, the eagle was a bird of bad moral character, a scavenger that stole from other birds. At last, Congress reached a decision. In 1782, they chose the bald eagle as the national bird and placed it on the great seal of the United States. While they agreed that the golden eagle had been used by other countries, the bald eagle was truly an American bird unique to North America. There were many bald eagles in North America at that time. However, the population began to dwindle, more recently due to chemicals such as DDT. In 1940, Congress passed a law forbidding the capture or killing of bald eagles. Since that time, and since the banning of DDT in 1973, bald eagles have made a comeback and are no longer considered an endangered species. It's a great story. So, next time you see a bald eagle, remember, it's more than just a bird, it's a symbol. Who knew? Have a great day.